Hello my lovely sis Misha. So at last I'm going to show you uh, the new extensions, the seamless extensions from um, Irresistible Me. I don't know if you remember uh, they were sent to me a while ago and I just quickly showed them to you but they were different color obviously so I had to um, put some low lights in it and I also tone them down with a blue shampoo actually I've overdone it on some of them as you can see you can see a bit of purple but when I wash them again um, that will come off so um, these are the new extensions for irresistible me um, I have a whole playlist called hair extensions and hair pieces I think and I will leave you the link below for that because there is quite a few videos about when I used to use hair extensions. Then I These are real hair extensions, human hair, really good. And now they come with this very thin silicone strap here. Whereas before the original ones, the weft was sewn on into, I don't know what it is, like a quite thick type of rope fabric. So. The difference is that these look much bulkier under your own hair, especially if you have fine hair like me. So these are amazing for people with fine hair. Um, so I will put them in. So mine were, I got the, because they come in different weights and lengths. Weight means, you know, how much hair you get. So I got, I think, the lowest one, which is 140 gram, because I didn't want lots of thick extensions because my own hair is quite thin. Um, I got the 14 inches because I didn't want something like 22 inches down to my butt. And mine were in a color number 60, white blonde, which I think is quite new color because the, the one before can't remember what number it was but it was bleach blonde I think and they were quite yellow Where, whereas the number 60 white blonde is not as yellow but still a bit too yellow for me but you can always tone them with just a blue shampoo which I did but I also put the low lights in which I have in my own hair if you don't know how to do that although I have a video how I do it uh, in that playlist how I've put the low lights in um, just take them to your hairdresser and and they will do it for you uh, although in the other video I didn't only put the low lights I also put the bleach highlights in it because they were too yellow and I wish I didn't because you know bleach damages the hair a bit um, Although they come out, I think this is the one actually that I've bleached. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, with these ones, I didn't bleach them, just low lights. And then when I was washing them, I washed them in a blue shampoo. So you get in here four clip weft, which is the widest. So that will go at the widest part of your head. Then you get three wefts of three clip. Then you get four wefts of two clips and two wefts of the one clip, which usually go here at the front. I think the match is amazing to my own hair. So let me put them in now. So at the bottom, at the very bottom, I will put the three clip first. So you, I'm not gonna show you exactly how I do it because also, you can do it the way you like it. You don't have to, um, you know, I know you can see on website where you should put what clip. I just put them wherever I feel I need the hair. Actually, I'm gonna put the two clip because obviously your, your head is narrowest at the bottom. Now, if your hair is very fine and like slippery, my hair is quite clean, so it's quite silky, you could slightly just, just put a tiny bit of combing just so the clips can, you know, attach properly. And make sure you stretch them so this silicone lays really flat okay then 
right above that I'm taking very small section I will put a three clip one so you know you just snap them to open them you hook it in your hair and snap them back But like I said, make sure you really stretch it so the silicone lies really flat. Instant hair. Okay, then I'm going to do another one just above that one. You know, it's nice to have nice clean sections, but it's not too important I will do another three clip here so I do the middle one first then I stretch it this side and I stretch it pull it taut there you go okay now I think I'm getting towards the middle of my head so I will put the widest one, the four clip. Just fill where your last one was and do it just above that. I sometimes feel that even that is too many for me because like I said, my hair is very fine. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've got the length now, but my sides have any have nothing. So I'm going to take the two clips and put each one on each side. And these you put just above your ear. And I like to put them at an angle like this as well. So when you put it at, at an angle, you sort of get a bit more sorry that angle so here this hair looks a bit shorter also if you don't want to back comb your hair you can pick up that piece of hair hook that into the hair and then clip it Can you see how flat that is to your hair? When I let my hair down now, you see you can't see it with with these once you've put a lot of wefts in, with these ones you sort of get a bit of more bulk. Do this this one at an angle. you see you can't see anything now I probably can put at the back another one the three one let's have a look although I feel like this is pretty much enough hair for me but that all depends how thick you want your hair to look Now I have two clip left and two wefts with one clip. Because I have less hair here, I think I might put the 
to weft here so that's what I mean you can then choose I could put it under here and have more hair here so it's up to you where, where you feel you need more hair this might be actually too high for me now and there is not enough hair to cover it so I will put the one clip and because I've got very high hairline here so you know like a lot of people's hair will start growing here so you have so much more hair I have such a tiny bit here of hair so I have to be very careful how I clip it so it doesn't show and again I'm going to do it at an angle there you go and now maybe I could put that one here as I've got more hair here I can put this to weft here I don't really need it I could do without that one because as you can see even though this is just 140 it is a lot of hair okay so this is whole set in now if you have bits that show at the back obviously I can see it just back comb your hair slightly spray it with a hairspray and make sure that none of your wefts are showing ha look at my new long hair and the beauty with these extensions is because it's human hair you can then take a Kaylin want you can curl them you can um, straighten them whatever you want beautiful they feel very very soft um, they will when they come to you they look much much silkier it's just that I obviously chemically treated them and um, and wash them they don't look as silky but they look like your real hair but they do feel very very silky <gasps> what a thick ponytail <laughs> I could never have that of my own yeah I feel like this is even too much hair for me so I'm so glad that I went for the 140 grams because they I think they might do 160 and even 200 which are very thick you get more wefts and each weft is thicker I think and they feel so comfortable um, they are lighter than these ones because I suppose this weft is already heavy on its own uh, so yeah they feel very very comfortable I have a link for you down below and I have a code for 20% off as well if you decide to uh, get these um, I think in fact if you get anything any tools um, from Irresistible Me you get 20% off with my code I'm not sure but if you're buying something else try the code and see if it works but definitely for the extensions um, the code is get 20 off so maybe next time I will come on with these extensions on and I curl them and I show you how I, I feel like if you curl your extensions they look even more natural they really merge with your own hair but I think I've done such a good job with the coloring I'm impressed because you wouldn't know where my own hair ends and where the extension starts so this is my hair and anything below that is extensions very good Nisha 
I just think hair extensions are so convenient. It's nothing permanent. And if you feel very conscious about wearing wigs, then extension is another, extensions is another way of doing it. Of course, if, you are, if you've got thinning hair at the top, then extensions are not going to fix that. Extensions are just for that, for adding extension to your own hair. So, or making your own hair a bit thicker. If you're already like me, you know, my hair is about that length, uh, but is very, very fine. So I could never grow my own hair to that length because I tell you, they would just look like rat's tails. So even if I grow my hair longer, then I probably would put, maybe not all of them. You don't always have to put the whole set of wefts. You just put them where you need them, when you where you feel you need the body and, and um, the thickness. You know, also, if you wanted to trim them or give it a bit different shape, you can clip them in the way you like them. But what I would do then, I would number them underneath on that silicone. You could write with perma uh, pen, you know, numbers. So you remember where they go, then go to your hairdresser and they can layer them, they can cut them to whatever shape you want. And then as long as you've got the numbers and you remember where you put what, um, you have an instant hairstyle. Okay, my lovelies, that's all for today. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a video how I curl this, these. And remember, I've got the code and 20% off in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye. I don't need a hit to believe that I'm living. You can lock me up if my time.